You can record macros to automate actions that you perform every day, like navigating to a certain screen, cutting, copying, or pasting text or data from one host application to another, and switching tabs to move from one host application to another. This video shows how to record a macro that navigates to a screen. It also shows how to add a button on the Ribbon Quick Access toolbar that you can use to run the macro. For this video, we'll use the ribbon interface. If you're using the classic interface, see how to record a macro in Reflections Classic Interface mode. Navigate to the screen you want to start on, and then on the Tools tab, select Record Macro. If you're using Reflections 16.1 or later, this is on the Macro tab. Now navigate to the screen you want. Select Stop Recording and then save the recorded macro in the current document's project. Now let's add a button to the Ribbon Quick Access toolbar that runs this macro. On the Quick Access toolbar, select the drop-down arrow to add a new action. In the Select Action dialog box, select Run Reflection Workspace Macro and then browse to the macro you created. Now let's test the macro. Navigate back to the screen you started on when you recorded the macro. Now run the macro to go to the screen you were on when you stopped recording. It worked. Keep in mind that there are some things you can't record, like interacting with reflection settings and productivity features, or connecting to or disconnecting from a host. But if you need a macro that does these things, you can always record a macro and then edit it in the Reflection VBA Editor to add the functionality you need. For more about recording macros, see Record and Edit a Macro in the Reflection Desktop VBA Guide.